Hi, welcome back to our class today. In today's video, I would like to continue our lesson that we have learned in the past week. We will continue from Unit 3 in page 29. If you have your CEFR Year 3 textbook, you can open page 29. Now before we start, let's look at the picture below and read it. I want you follow me read this together. For the question, ready? Is he playing basketball? For the answer, ready? Yes, he is. Next one, are they playing basketball? Yes, they are. Is he playing basketball? No, he isn't. Are they playing basketball? No, they aren't. Well done. So, in today's video, we will learn how to make a question and also how to give an answer. From what we have read just now, we will learn how to make question by using is and are and also how to give an answer by using is or are or isn't or aren't. Now, I will teach you how to make a question. When we want to make a question, we have to think which one to use for the question. Is it is or is it are? So first, we have to look at the subject of the question. If the subject of the question is singular or one, we must use is. And if it is plural, which is many, we must use are. For example, now look at the picture on the screen. Can you tell me the subject of the picture? Is it singular, one, or is it plural? many yes the subject of the picture is singular so when is when it is a singular we must use is for example is he playing badminton we use is in front of of the question and then follow with he because the subject is boy or man that's why we use he and after that we put whatever the action or the things that he or she do so in this case is he playing badminton look at the picture now how many persons did you see in the picture? Yes, two persons in the picture. So, the subject in the picture is plural. Because there are two persons. And plural means many. So, when the subject is plural, we must use the word are. For example, are they playing badminton? Use are in front of the question and follow up with the subject 
in the picture or of the question. In the picture, we see two girls are playing. So we use the personal pronoun they. Are they playing badminton? Now, for the next part, I will teach you how to give an answer. To give an answer, we must look at the front of the question. For example, is it is or is it are? Now, if it is a yes, when we want to give question, we have to answer yes or no first. If it is a yes, then we must come with is at the back. If it is a no, we must come with isn't at the back. Don't worry, I will show you the example. Now, bear in mind that is and isn't is only for singular, which means one, singular. For example, look at the picture. The question is, is he playing badminton? Now, before we want to give an answer, I want you to look at the picture. Is he playing badminton? Yes, of course, he is playing badminton. So, how we want to give an answer is like this. First, we will put yes or no, and after that, we put it is at the back because the answer is yes for example the answer for this question is he playing badminton the answer is yes he is now let's look at another example is he playing badminton look at the picture is the boy playing badminton Yes, the answer is no. He's not playing badminton. He is playing basketball. When we want to give an answer, the answer is no, he isn't. We use the word isn't because the answer is no. Now, let's move to another example. If the subject is a plural which means many and if the answer is yes we must use are and if it's a no we must use aren't and again this one is for plural are and aunt is used for plural. Now look at the picture. Let's see the question. Are they playing badminton? In the picture, did you see they play badminton? Yes, of course they are. So the answer is yes, they are. We put yes in front and coming along is the personal pronoun they because there are two persons in the picture and then we put the word are yes they are next one look at the picture are they playing badminton Of course, they are not playing badminton. The boy and the girl, they are playing basketball. So to give the answer, we must say, No, they aren't. No, they aren't. We put no in front the personal pronoun they 
and then the word aunt aunt because of the answer no did you get that so to make it short you must be wondering what is isn't what is aunt and sometimes some sentences you might find the phrase I'm I'm not these are the words for isn't comes from is not for example no she isn't or in another word no she is not aren't are not for example no they aren't or in another word no they are not for the last one I'm not which come from I am not so in summary is and isn't we must use for singular is when the answer is yes and isn't when the answer is no for the plural we use are if the answer is yes and aren't if the answer is a no do you get that okay children let's test what you have learned just now look at the picture are they playing baseball can you give me the answer now yes well done no they aren't next question is she skateboarding what do you think is the answer yes very good yes she is and the last question is she playing badminton what do you think is the answer yes well done no she isn't so boys and girls i hope you have learned something from today's lesson in today's lesson we have learned how to make the question by using is or are and how to give an answer by using is or isn't or are or aren't if you want to check more exercises you can open your textbook page 29 that is all for today i hope to see you soon take care and bye bye see you next time